Hey, everyone! In today's video, I'm going to share some tips and strategies for creating a healthy work-life balance. As we all know, balancing work and life can be a challenge, but it's essential for our physical and mental well-being. By creating a healthy work-life balance, we can reduce stress, increase productivity, and enjoy our lives to the fullest. The first tip is to set realistic goals and priorities. This means taking a step back and evaluating what's important in your life, both personally and professionally. Make a list of goals and priorities and rank them in order of importance. This will help you stay focused and avoid getting overwhelmed by tasks that can wait. When setting your goals, it's essential to make them specific, measurable, and achievable. For example, instead of setting a vague goal like, I want to exercise more, set a specific goal like, I want to go for a 30-minute walk every day. By making your goals specific and measurable, you can track your progress and celebrate your achievements along the way. The second tip is to establish boundaries between work and personal life. This means setting specific times for work and leisure activities and sticking to them. For example, if you work from home, create a designated workspace that you can leave at the end of the day. This will help you disconnect from work and focus on your personal life. It's also important to establish boundaries with your colleagues and clients. Let them know your work hours and when you're not available. This will help you avoid feeling overwhelmed and burnt out. The third tip is to take breaks and prioritize self-care. It's important to take breaks throughout the day to rest and recharge. This can include going for a walk, practicing yoga, or simply taking a few deep breaths. Additionally, prioritize self-care activities such as exercise, meditation, and getting enough sleep. These activities will help you feel refreshed and energized, both physically and mentally. When it comes to self-care, it's important to find activities that you enjoy and that work for your lifestyle. For example, if you enjoy being outdoors, try going for a hike or a bike ride. If you prefer more low-key activities, try reading a book or taking a relaxing bath. The fourth tip is to learn to say no. It can be tempting to take on more work or social activities than we can handle, but this can lead to burnout and stress. Learn to say no to activities or tasks that don't align with your goals and priorities. This will help you stay focused and avoid overcommitting yourself. When saying no, it's important to be assertive but also respectful. Let the person know that you appreciate the offer but that you're unable to commit at this time. By learning to say no, you'll be able to create more space in your life for the things that truly matter to you. The fifth and final tip is to seek support from others. This can include family, friends, or colleagues who can provide emotional support and help you stay accountable. Additionally, consider seeking professional help from a therapist or coach who can provide guidance and support for creating a healthy work-life balance. Talking to others about your goals and challenges can be incredibly helpful. It can also help you stay motivated and accountable. Consider joining a support group or finding a workout buddy to help you stay on track. In conclusion, creating a healthy work-life balance is essential for our physical and mental well-being. By setting realistic goals and priorities, establishing boundaries, taking breaks and prioritizing self-care, learning to say no, and seeking support from others, we can achieve a balance that allows us to thrive both personally and professionally. Remember, creating a healthy work-life balance is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, effort, and commitment, but the rewards are well worth it. I hope this video has been helpful, and if you have any tips or strategies of your own, please share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.